I've just shown you exactly how to make an AI agent that will make content for you. As you can see, the potential of this is insane. I don't personally think the technology is quite there yet. However, the potential of this and where we're going with AI, where AI can talk to itself and work out tasks based on natural language processing is extremely exciting, both for big businesses, small businesses, and everyone in between. So you can see here that the content is actually real images, real links, and this is a perfect way to start to grow your business without having to put basically any effort into it at all. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I set up crew AI agents to do your SEO for you. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to include a GitHub repo, which will allow you to have an exact boilerplate so that you can do this too. The video from the other day where I talked about how to set up crew AI is extremely relevant to this video. So if you haven't watched that video yet, we will leave it here or here or wherever the hell it goes. I suggest you watch that video first. That will give you a very basic crew AI setup. When you have crew AI set up, it will look something like this here. Um, this is the one that we basically, this is their boilerplate. This is the one that uses um, a couple of agents to do research about AI in 2024 and then writes an article. I took this boilerplate and I've turned it into something that is actually actionable and useful for businesses. It mainly works for Shopify. There will be a way to make this work outside of Shopify, so don't worry too much if you're not on Shopify. However, this exact one that I'm going to show you today will draw pictures from a Shopify sitemap. So it does specifically work with Shopify, but like I said, you can easily make this work with any CMS. First of all, I'm going to show you how I actually made this possible. So I'm going to go on paste bin. There will be, of course, a link to this in the description of this video. And basically all this is is a very crude uh, copy and paste of the entire documentation of Crew AI. So I'm just going to press copy here and I'm going to head over to Claude and I'm going to paste that there. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for now. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, the boilerplate from Crew AI, and I'm going to put that here as well. So we'll paste this boilerplate in here as well. So now it has the boilerplate and it has the um, documentation of Crew AI. So within the documentation of Crew AI, there are a list of tools. So if you actually want to go to the Crew AI documentation, you can just Google Crew AI documentation, click on the first result, and then it has all of these. Um, links. So anything in here will be included in that paste. Okay. So for example, using Crew AI tools, you can see here there are a list of tools. Provided that you have also done pip install Crew AI tools, you will have access to everything you can see here. Now, like I was talking about in the previous video, one of these options is actually an XML search tool. If you don't know, then sitemaps use XML. So if I go on tumen.xml, it slash sitemap.xml and I open for example the product one this is the product sitemap which specifically for Shopify it actually has CDN image links which is why this works for Shopify and not for for example WordPress right click and save as okay what this does is it allows us to have a XML version of the sitemap so when I press save here and then close this before my laptop freezes This allows us to, if we click on downloads here and we drag this and press alt tab and drag this over to this folder here, this gives us something to read or it gives the agents something to read. So I've already gone ahead and done this with all of the products on two men. And I've also done this with the collections and with the blogs as well. So what we can actually do with this, which I found very, very interesting, is we can use natural language to create the exact flow that we want. So for example, okay, 
I want you to change this boilerplate using the documentation from Crew AI. What I want it to do is this. I first want it to research an interesting keyword in the, and then I'm gonna put, what you can do is you can put any variables in curly brackets, okay? So in the niche. So this is one variable. And then afterwards, which is something we'll go into in a minute, is we'll have to create an environment file, okay? So remember, everything you put in curly brackets will also have to be put into the environment file as well. So I first wanted to in research an interesting keyword in the niche using SERP tools, okay? SERP tools is just, if you look here, you can see SERPA, uh, basically SERP uh, is one of the tools, it's here, SERPA dev tool. So we'll actually say using SERPA, using a SERP tool or SERPA dev tools, SERPA dev tools, okay? Then I want it to check this list against the, and then I'm gonna do curly brackets, um, sitemap blogs, okay? This is using natural language processing. I'm not coding. It's using NLP, natural language. I'm not, I'm not gonna be actually writing any code, okay? You just need to understand what a variable is, okay? So in this case, a variable here would be the sitemap underscore blogs file, okay? So you can put file here, maybe that makes things a bit clearer to people. So uh, to ensure there are no duplicates, then I want it to use um, the XML search tool, then I wanted to use the XML search tool to search the product, uh, sorry, the sitemap products file and the sitemap collections file for relevant images and internal links. Then I want it to use these relevant images and internal links to write an article in Markdown, starting with an H1 tag, okay? So all I've done in front of you is I've given it the documentation for Crew AI, I've given it the boilerplate for Crew AI, and that's actually, yeah, that's all I've given it. And then I've just naturally, using natural language, using nothing complicated, given it what I wanted to do. So I will just quickly hop over to the .m file. This is an extremely important part of this. So you can see here that I have my SERPA API key, my open API key, which will be deleted at the end of this video, the niche, the sitemap blogs, sitemap collections, sitemap products, and then the open AI model name. So within the app.py, you'll see, if I do control F model, you can actually just set the OpenAI model name like this as well. You don't actually have to do it within the M file. So I'm gonna use GPT-40 for this just because I think it's uh, just a little bit quicker. And then if we look through this, I will say, please remove the um, hard-coded parts of this and instead provide me with a .m file. So something I forgot to mention in the original prompt up here is that I was gonna be creating a .m file for um, the name of the files and also for the, um, the niche, okay? So yeah, that's something I forgot, but it's, it's, not really a, it's not really a huge thing. So you can see here, sitemap blogs tool equals XML search tool path equals OS dot get M sitemap blogs file. What that means is it's gonna read my dot M file, which is this file here. And it's going to look for something called sitemap blogs file. And it's going to use that as an environmental um, variable, okay? So what I actually have to do is I have to change this because this is for my old script to my new script, which is sitemap blogs file like this. This one as well needs to be changed because it's uh, currently an old one. So we'll change this and we'll change sitemap collections as well because this is now written like this. This is how we set up the .m file. You can also just press new here, put .m and then 
put all of these variables in, okay? It's that simple. Let's press copy here, and then we'll just run this. So we'll call this something different. So we'll call this hello.py. We'll paste this, control S, and then I'm just gonna run this in front of you all. This might not work, but I'm just showing you the methodology of how to kind of kind of get this to the point where it, you know, you, you can get it to work by playing around with it, basically. Now, one thing I've noticed is that, is that there's no F here, which there normally should be an F here. Um, so I, I think this might actually be an error. And this should also be in capitals. So let me just try this for one second. Uh, site map. I know, that should be right. I'm not sure why that's saying it's not correct. But we'll just run this. So we'll do python hello.py because I think Claude is a slightly better coder than I am. We're not inside the crew llama file, so we'll cd inside the right file. And then we'll do python hello.py here. And then we'll just see what happens. I'm kind of curious, to be honest with you, if this will actually work or not. Now this uses GPT-4 as, um, as its um, normal model. So this is trying to use GPT-4. You can see, yeah, like I said, the problem here looks like that it's the way that Niche is written. So we'll just put this error directly into Claude here. And yeah, you, I already know what the problem is. I can see um, there's no F here. There needs to be an F here, uh, which means formatting. But uh, let's see if Claude can pick this up on its own. Apologize for the confusion. It seems the error is occurring because the, yeah, this is exactly what I was trying to, trying to fix. To fix this, you can modify the code to include the variables in the inputs directory. Again, pretty much exactly what I was trying to fix, which I'm quite happy with actually, because yeah, I knew what was wrong with it and I'm not really a coder, so that's nice to see. So we'll let this run. Um, but yeah, this is how, you know, one by one, fixing all of the errors, et cetera, et cetera. This is how I fixed, um, this is how I made my script, which you can see here. So you can see this has an F here and it says niche here. So what I'm gonna do instead, I think if this doesn't work this time, is I'm gonna give it my working script, which you guys will also have access to. Um, and we will say, use this as a kind of boilerplate. I don't think this is gonna to work, to be quite honest with you. I can still see a few errors here in the code. I'd be very surprised if this works. Oh, okay. Well, I'll shut up then. <laughs> Nice, so you can see, I did all of this in front of you. There's no smoke, there's no mirrors, there's nothing, I'm not hiding anything. I did all of this in front of you, exactly how I just showed you, and now we have, you know, something that is, it might, I don't know yet, it might write something that is good for this business, so we'll see. Title, a big knit, let's see, action input, baggy sweater, interesting. I'm not a massive fan of that keyword, but I'll take it, to be honest with you, because I don't think we have a blog about baggy sweaters, to be honest with you. So it seems to be going through everything, and then look at this. This is the really, really cool part of this. If I open this here, this should, should, should be a real image link. Yeah. It's not a baggy sweater. You can't really blame Claude for that. Claude doesn't have eyes, or at least, uh, sorry, ChatGPT. Four doesn't have eyes, so we can't really blame it. It's doing its best with what it's got. These are actually the opposite of baggy sweaters. If you were gonna write an article about baggy sweaters, you would not include an Italian uh, sweater because they're just not gonna be baggy most of the time. Um, this probably isn't baggy either. No, it's not. It, the, the Italians like really slim things, but you know. Claude doesn't, uh, sorry, Chad GPT doesn't know that, so we'll, we'll, give him, we'll, give him, we'll give him a pass on that one. So you can see what it's doing here is it's creating an article block by block or piece by piece and the end result should be a full markdown article with real image links and real collection links inside it. Now, sometimes there are a couple of problems with this. It took me a long time to get it to the point where it was actually including real image links in the final content. I don't know whether this one is going to do that we're gonna find out together. But basically, I just wanted to show you the methodology, okay? So we'll see, oh, hello. So we have an article here. All of, all, everything I just shown you, showed you was done in front of you, live, no edits. Well, a couple of edits here and there, but not edits where we paused anything. 
Let's scroll down this together and see whether these are real image links. Yeah, they are. Amazing. Look at that, beautiful. So, I'm gonna still leave this GitHub repository in uh, the description of this video, or at least I'm gonna leave myapp.py and also hello.py, I may as well. Um, what I suggest you do is you learn how to use Crew AI. I don't actually suggest that you copy what I've got. I suggest you learn how to do it yourselves because it's incredibly exciting. It's incredibly interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.